It's the Comita event, and it is the return of Misha Tate, aka Cupcake, as she takes on Marion Renault, aka the Belizean Bruiser, the technical teacher, whatever you want to call her. She's someone who, at 44, tends to always fight in close, competitive contests, but she's always on the wrong end, at least in the last few years. I mean, she's dropped four straight. She got smashed by Macy Chasson and lost to Rocky Pennington, Yana Kunitskaya, and Kat Zingano before that. So she's always, you know, fighting those women who are near the top of the division, but tends to struggle, albeit slightly in some of them, but in many straight. So I love this fight. I think it's a great return fight for the 34-year-old Misha Tate. We haven't seen Misha Tate fight since 2016. She lost a unanimous decision to Rocky Pennington and before that lost her belt and got absolutely bludgeoned by Amanda Nunes. But it's tough to forget everything that Misha Tate did before that, right? I mean, she was 18 and 5. She had a nice five fight win streak. She won the belt, comeback of the year over Holly Holm and picked up wins over Jessica the Third Eye and Sarah McMahon before that. So we know Misha Tate was always at that top of the 135 division. Do you think she's still going to have the chops to uh, go in against Marion Renault? Because although Marion Renault keeps losing these fights, she obviously has been way more active throughout these last five years. Do you, do you think the game has moved on and Renault is at too high of a level? Or are you going with Misha Tate, a.k.a. Cupcake, in this return? Who you got? Call me. Yeah, you know, if I've ever seen a layup, um, this would absolutely be a slam dunk for Misha Tate return. I mean, they couldn't have found a better fighter. It, it will be a tough test because, you know, she's been active. Tate obviously hasn't. But let's be real. I mean, uh, she, she's she's 44 years old. Like, on a four-fight skid, they're like, hey, let's get you fighting a legend. Let's get your best payday. And let's get you back home to California ASAP. Um, I think this is going to be an absolutely one-sided mauling by Misha Tate. I think it's going to be a finish. Um, uh, I think it's going to be a TKO ground and pound. Um, and honestly, I think it's going to be early. But whenever you see something like this where it's just like, it, it just looks seems it should be one-sided, like uh, topology 86%, 14%, uh, Anything's possible, especially you take that much layoff. Is her nose healed? Does she have a jaw? How is she going to react? Is her nose going to break after, you know, that surgery? We don't know, but I cannot wait to find out. I can't wait to see Cupcake back in the ring. And it seems that they're really trying to build her back up. The fact that they're giving her an absolute alley-oop in this first, um, you know, fight comeback. And I think they're trying to build up a, a you know a big fight for Nunes, and I think this is the woman to do it. You know they can't get Ronda. They, this is the next runner up, I think. So I think they're going to give her one or two bums, and then give her a title shot uh, to sell that number, and then just show Nunes that she's just absolutely the goat, which we all already knew. Yeah, great stuff. And you know, assuming Nunes, you know, goes through Juliana Pena here in, in the next couple of weeks, it's like, what do you do with Amanda Nunes? Because She's essentially cleaned out the entire division, and perhaps that is what the UFC might be hoping for down the line, is that high-profile rematch versus Cupcake. Because Cupcake, again, as mentioned, top of her game as soon as she left, but it's been a little while since we've seen her in there. So I'm hopeful that she still has uh, the skills required in order to hang in there with uh, these 135ers. So you mentioned the nose uh, situation. Very interesting point, right? Because we've seen Marion Renault absolutely crack out there. She's someone who will bring a lot of volume on the feet. Uh, and she has some sneaky pops. So we'll see uh, if that impacts Misha Tate at all in this one. But ultimately, I'm with you 100%. I'm going with Misha Tate. Uh, not quite sure it's uh, as much of a slam dunk Suns in four alley-oop as suggested. But I think that this is a perfect matchup for her to get back in the win streak and then Beyond that, I mean, there should be plenty of fights that you can make before throwing her back in there against Nunes, right? I mean, love to see her against Aspen Ladd or Irene Aldana or maybe even a Holly Holm rematch at some point. So yeah. plenty of stuff you can do with Misha Tate, but obviously she'll have to go through Marion Renault in this one in order to get there. You touched on Tapology, 86% is rolling with Cupcake. Majority says by decision. Are you as bullish on that decision or do you think that it's for sure Misha Tate finish? Um, I'm pretty bullish on the finish. Um, I think she's going to snap Marion's nose or get her nose snapped. Uh, but I think one of them's going out. I just got to lean with Misha Tate on this one. 
with you all the way and at a minus 130 spot obviously it's risky she hasn't fought in five years but uh if this fight happened five years ago then misha tate would have been a significant favorite so we'll see what kind of skills she brings in 2021 but nonetheless both meat and boy are going with cupcake in this one so let us know if you agree with our analysis comment down below if you're going with cupcake or you roll with the technical teacher marion renault we love to hear your feedback we respond to all comments don't forget to check out the Parlay Filet coming up next.